Now Navarrete is trying to break the rhythm and timing of Diaz. He just did. That's what he's doing. Now he's picking up the oh, pace. Good shot. That awkward, long, lunging left hand from the champion. And now this is the volume. Dre, if you had to explain to somebody how Emmanuel Navarrete fights, look no further than what we saw in that third round with this punch. As awkward as it may seem, this is vintage Navarrete where he seems out of position, he leaps in. But you got to remember, for a guy that's 5'7", he has a 72-inch reach. I had a 72-inch reach as a super middleweight and light heavyweight, so that's not normal when you're down there. Oh, oh! There's that left lead uppercut and the knockdown is scored! Six, seven, Never saw it. Eight, His signature five, punch eight, and he cashes eight, in. This is just so hard to defend against. The uppercut right up the middle. You think that you covered up. You think that you have your guards up and he splits it with a beautiful uppercut as Diaz tried to move out to get away from his attack. But it was that feint. It was the feint with the right hand. He looked as if he wanted to throw it. Diaz expect that right there. Mm. Diaz covered up with the left hand and he never saw Take the left out. uppercut getting through. It was the feint that set that shot up. And typically it's the shot that you do not see that does the most damage.